coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Ryanair places its biggest Boeing order for up to 300 737 MAX jets. Beechcraft Denali Cockpit jumps on the Autoland bandwagon. B-29 Doc coming to Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Ryanair places its biggest Boeing order of up to 300 737 MAX jets. Boeing has scored a major MAX order with their pals at Ryanair, announcing that the low-cost airline has selected the largest 737 MAX model to power its future growth with an order for up to 300 airplanes. The purchase agreement is the biggest in Ryanair's history and includes a firm order for 157 jets and options for 150 more. Ryanair has deployed a growing fleet of 737-8200 airplanes to accelerate its post-pandemic recovery. The 197-seat 737-8200 model has helped the airline reduce fuel use and emissions by over 20 percent compared to the airplanes they replaced. The new order adds the larger 737-10 variant, which offers Ryanair 228 seats and what they believe to be the best unit economics of any single-aisle airplane. Michael O'Leary, Ryanair Group CEO, said, quote, Ryanair is pleased to sign this record aircraft order for up to 300 MAX 10s with our aircraft partner Boeing. These new fuel-efficient, greener technology aircraft offer 21% more seats, burn 20% less fuel, and are 50% quieter than our B737NGs, end quote. And after the break, more honors for the Kings. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. More honors for the Kings, this time from WAI. I hang around with Martha is how John King introduces himself when he and Martha take the stage at public events. It proved to be true in a new sense in February when the Kings were inducted together into Women in Aviation International's Pioneer Hall of Fame. John King found himself the first and only man in the company of more than 100 trailblazing women, the likes of Amelia Earhart, Anne Morrow Lindbergh, and astronaut Sally Ride, who have made their marks in the history of aviation. Astronaut Sam Durrance goes west. NASA veteran astronaut Sam Durrance, a truly unique gentleman and a great person to discuss life with, has gone west. His family says, quote, Sam died quietly today, May 5, 2023, surrounded by family after a long struggle with dementia and Parkinson's disease. He has spent his final days in hospice care at a facility in Vieira, Florida. Sam was a veteran of two space shuttle missions, flying in 1990 and 1995 as a payload specialist and operating a collection of four telescopes as part of the Astro-1 and Astro-2 space labs." End quote. 2023 FAA Drone Symposium and Advanced Air Mobility Summit on schedule. The FAA and AUVSI will again co-host the 8th Annual FAA Drone Symposium and the first ever Advanced Air Mobility Summit this summer. The two events from August 1st through 3rd at the Baltimore Convention Center in Maryland will bring together representatives from the FAA, other government agencies, international aviation experts, industry leaders, and academia. The presenters and panelists will discuss the latest information and advancements related to the diverse uses of drones and the safe integration of advanced air mobility aircraft like air taxis into the national airspace system. FedEx flight helmed by mother-daughter combo. Terry Edson and Nicole McAllister became the first mother-daughter duo to pilot an international flight, according to FedEx personnel. The pilots took FedEx Flight 5434 from the carrier's main hub at Memphis International Airport to Incheon, South Korea. 
The 14-hour flight preceded Mother's Day by a few weeks, but offered a unique opportunity for a family moment seldom seen in the industry. In recounting their experience to journalist Channing Reed, they said the idea of being a first in aviation history hadn't quite sunk in. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Beechcraft Denali cockpit jumps on the Autoland bandwagon. Textron is adding emergency Autoland capability to its new Beechcraft Denali single-engine turboprop. The new feature is being implemented into the aircraft's development and flight test program and will be available as a standard feature. The emergency Autoland system provides a means for the aircraft to land automatically in the unlikely event of pilot incapacitation. A passenger can activate the emergency Autoland system by pressing a dedicated button in the cockpit. Once activated, the system immediately takes control of the aircraft and informs ATC of the emergency. It then calculates a flight path to the most suitable airport or runway while avoiding terrain and adverse weather, initiates a stabilized approach, and automatically lands the aircraft. The Denali Flight Test Certification Program features three flight test articles. The three flight test aircraft have surpassed 1,300 flight hours. Engineered to achieve cruise speeds of 285 knots and full fuel payload of 1,100 pounds, the Beechcraft Denali is designed to have a range of 1,600 nautical miles at high-speed cruise with one pilot and four passengers and will be able to fly from Los Angeles to Chicago, New York to Miami, or London to Athens. The Catalyst engine, a more efficient, FADEC-equipped, 1,300-shaft horsepower-rated turboprop engine, eases pilot workload via a single lever power and propeller control. And after these messages, B-29 Doc coming to Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, Factory Connected. Welcome back. B-29 Dock coming to Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium. The B-29 Dock History Restored Tour will land in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium June 8th through 11th, 2023 at Tulsa International Airport. The tour stop will include B-29 Dock flight experience rides along with ground and cockpit tours of B-29 Dock, one of only two B-29 Super Fortress aircraft still airworthy and flying today. B-29 Dock flight experience tickets are on sale now for the tour event at the Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium. Tanya Blancet, TASM Executive Director, said, quote, we are excited to bring a piece of living history to the Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium, and we hope this visit continues to inspire the next generation to pursue a career in aerospace here in Oklahoma." End quote. B-29 DOC will arrive at Tulsa International Airport Thursday, June 8th, and will be hosted by the Museum and Planetarium. Ground and flight deck tours will be available Friday, June 9th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., as well as Saturday and Sunday, June 10th and 11th from noon to 4 p.m., following morning ride flight schedules both days. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.